100 years ago, my great-grandparents left their homes in Germany and Scotland, and they immigrated to the United States. They had a vision of a better life for their children and for future generations. But the road to that vision was not easy. They had to leave all of their belongings, make the long journey across the Atlantic, to homestead here in an unknown land, and then they were faced with struggles like the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression. But somehow they persevered. And now here I am today, humbled by the opportunities I have because of their vision and their hard work. But I'm also really inspired because now I too have a vision of a better future. It's a vision that I share with my brother, John. He and I started a company together. It's called Bogo Brush. It's a toothbrush. Our goal with Bogo Brush is to bring environmental and social values into economic decision making so that the results of those decisions are more balanced and will lead to a future that's more sustainable than the way we live today. We believe wholeheartedly in this vision, and I know it will be a reality. But we too face struggles. For example, it took us more than two years, but finally we were able to order our first run of 10,000 bamboo bogo brushes. Our pilot runs told us to expect that more than 9,000 of those would actually be completely successfully produced. In reality, though, more than 5,000 of them shattered during the bristling process. This was devastating to hear. Not only were our expectations denied, but we were relying on the sale of that inventory so we could purchase our next round of production. So instead, we had to look to more traditional rounds of funding. And in and of itself, that's not a bad thing, but for Bogo Brush, it's hard because it requires us to look to more like larger retailers before we've established a grassroots community for our brand. But John and I keep on, and we navigate these hurdles, and certainly we make progress. But for some reason, it's the struggles that seem to add up sometimes. And recently, this happened to me, where the struggles were piling up, piling up so high that as I looked to the top, all I could see were more questions. And the questions were so big that the answers were hardly even imaginable to me. Feeling helpless, I looked out at the universe looking for direction. And when I looked out there, I just started to feel so incredibly small. Like, what's the point? If the world is going to keep on evolving, whether or not I exist, why does it even matter? Why should I even try? I take a deep breath, and my emotions started to calm down. And then I heard the voice inside me saying, but Heather, you do exist. You are here. You are alive. And what is life? Life is the struggle to survive. If we don't struggle, nothing can happen. If we don't struggle today, we can't evolve into tomorrow. And in that perspective, I guess my purpose is, in fact, to struggle. <laughs> what a weird relief. And I know I'm not alone, because we are all connected. Take a moment, look at your neighbor. Even just briefly, make eye contact with them. We are all struggling for something. Maybe your struggle is like that of my great-grandparents. Or maybe you are struggling to find inspiration for your next piece of art. Or maybe you even just struggle to get out of bed in the morning. But whatever your struggle is, I say embrace it. Be grateful for this opportunity we have to be alive and struggling as part of something so much bigger than ourselves. And while we're at it, we might as well struggle for something we believe in. 
For me right now, this struggle is for a determined little toothbrush. And I know that struggles evolve. And as my struggles evolve, I will greet them with everything I am. Because at the end of the day, that's all I can do. And you can too. Thank you.